2020 was a really exciting year for the SWSP2 project. SWSP2, or Southern Water Supply Project 2, is a new raw water pipeline delivery system. The impetus for this project was trying to improve water quality for the city of Boulder. The city of Boulder currently gets quite a bit of their water from our canal system and it's been working great for them. Um, but in order to improve water quality at their treatment plant, we wanted to deliver the water through a pipeline instead of through the canal system. We had our final piece of pipe installed in January 2020, uh, which was a, a really big milestone to have that last piece in so we could start delivering water and testing out the pipeline for our participants. Here we are, uh, we just laid in the last piece of pipe on Southern Water Supply Project 2. Um, it's been a long time coming, about 18 months worth of uh, putting pipe in the ground. So where we're at right now is right below the St. Vrain Canal, the main water supply uh, coming out of Carter Lake Reservoir. This has been kind of a momentous day. We're happy to see that uh, this project has come to basically completion. We have some cleanup work to do, but uh, this is the last stick of pipe. Finally today, uh, we have that uh, complete pipe all the way from Carter Lake down to Boulder Reservoir. Want to thank uh, the folks that have taken part in this project. Uh, first, Garney Construction. Uh, they were the contractor for all of this and we're, we're uh, very thankful for them, the work they've done. Uh, Ditesco, the uh, construction management firm that we've hired. The northern people that have all been involved in this. The project went well. We still have a little bit of work to do, but it was a good project and real proud of it. Pleased to see it coming to uh, completion and we look forward to, uh, to getting this thing fired up here in the next month or so, actually delivering water. The pipeline basically begins right there at the St. Brain Supply Canal, um, what they call the St. Brain Diversion Structure. And that's where we built a new turnout going to the new pipeline for Southern Water Supply 2. We built an additional concrete structure, cut a five by six hole in the existing structure and uh, put a slide gate with an electric operator on there, and that's what really feeds the new Southern Water Supply 2 pipeline. Garney Construction was uh, the contractor for the pipeline and also for the turnout there. They did have a subcontractor that did do the concrete work itself uh, in regards to the turnout, but Garney themselves did indeed cut the hole in the existing conduit and put in a uh, five by six slide gate with an electric motor to put the new turnout into uh, for the Southern Water Supply 2 project. There was a shutdown of the conduit come out of Carter Lake, which also uh, impacts the original pipeline. But we did that in uh, January when demand was low. We typically have a shutdown about that time anyway for our own maintenance. So we tried to work that together. We had to shut everybody off from the original pipeline. So therefore we had a three day shutdown. For a couple of days there, there was round the clock work being done to ensure that we would get done and be able to turn water back into the conduit coming out of Carter Lake. So therefore we could water up the original pipeline so we, those folks could uh, start receiving water again. We were a little bit worried about that, but it, it all worked out fine. 
and then we had final completion happen in April. So that means all of the pertinences, all the different parts and pieces on the project were complete and we are now delivering water, which is really exciting. And Longs Peak Water District is currently planning their connection project. So next year they'll be up and running and operational on the new pipeline as well. And then City of Bertha will be coming in a little bit after that.